the history of St Anne's Church dates back to about 1865, when the area of Hoxton was a very poor Victorian slum. They needed um, churches to provide places of refuge, places of hope. The church has always provided um, a kind of loving service to its community. And we serve all who come through our doors. Dropping Cafe is a place where people who are socially excluded come to have some fun. They have tea, they have sandwiches while they are at it. It's mostly people in the community that comes here. Some people are homeless, some have homes but don't have money for food, so they come here and some elderly, some young, some people with mental illness. You know, they come, they talk about their problem. You know, maybe they don't have someone to talk to. They live alone, they're isolated. So I started doing this because I have a child with Down syndrome and I'm a carer for her. I stopped working just to look after her. And I thought, how can I give back to society? So I approached Father Christopher and we started this. So it means a lot to me when I put a smile on people's faces, when I'm the reason for that smile. The soup kitchen for some is a lifeline. People just come here every Saturday between 5 and 7. They have clothes, a free course meal, and we have showering facilities if they'd like to use them, they're more than welcome. Um, and a lot of socialising goes on. We're part of Hackney Winter Night Shelter, and when it closed in April um, 2014, we grew the soup kitchen from that. Because we have homeless people, we have sofa surfers, we have a group of elderly ladies who come in just for the socialisation of it. Anyone and everyone is welcome, we don't ask questions. To put on a normal evening with, with the donations that we get and the fundraising that we do, we can feed 60 people a three-course meal for maybe 15, 20 pounds. Who wouldn't want to do that? Getting involved here in the drop-in cafe, the soup kitchen, has opened my eyes a lot more to the issues of homelessness and food poverty. It's been an honour to serve people, but it's also frustrating hearing people's stories and not feeling that I can do more than that. To help us, we need volunteers, we need financial help, we need people to donate food. We are always, always short of volunteers. And, you know, an hour, ten minutes, two hours, whatever you can give is really, really good. You might be amazed at what it does for you as well as what it does for the guests. Any help that, um, that anyone can give would mean a huge amount to us as a church, whether that be supporting, volunteering, being part of the community, coming to chat to people, serving tea and coffee or donations if you, if you have any time or money, what, whatever you can give would just mean a lot to us. We start a night shelter on the first um, Monday in January and it runs until the last Monday in March and we will be running uh, every Monday evening uh, during that period between uh, 8pm and 8am and we will need volunteers to uh, come and sleep over and cook breakfast. So again, please uh, contact us through our website to find out how to get involved.